So Ludlow is a proprietary typesetting system. It has its own composing sticks and its own type matrices that only work for this machine. So I'm going to set... Um, Type I've got here. So all Ludlow, um, this is a matrix cabinet. All these drawers are on an angle. Uh, for the obvious reason that you just kind of want gravity to work for you instead of against you mm -hmm. when studying this type, and it keeps everything, you know, nice and orderly in the case. But this case, you can tell it's been slammed because of all these, uh, all the mats have fallen over. But that's okay. So how this works? The layout of the case is basically what you'd call a double capital case um, where each box corresponds to its own letter in alphabetical order except J and U which are always at the after Z so this is a capital A capitals are in the inner case lower case is in the outer case so it's a piece of brass cut with a right reading mold of the letter. So when this gets um, filled with lead, when the lead gets injected into that right reading mold, it produces a wrong reading um, uh, relief. So like I said, it's brass, letters stamped at the top so you, you could see what you're setting and read it accurately. There's lines on the mat that correspond with, to make it easy to tell different faces apart or tell, you know, make sure that you have all the same face in your stick. So now it's a choice of what you're going to set. the Ludlow system. So at this point there's no spaces in this line. Mm -hmm. So all your spaces are in the, the top spacing rack of your uh, matrix cabinets and you space out your line after you've set your mats into the stick. something as simple as that. Your spaces have extra long ears so they're easy to remove when you go to distribute the line. Hmm. And then you can see these. Okay. So this stick is what's called um, a self-centering stick. Um, in typesetting, you can uh, justify or quad your line, be it right, center, or left justification. So this specific stick is for doing, uh, um, justifying a line perfectly center. So it has a mechanism in here that uh, um, quads the line for you. Instead of having to space out the line uh, equally on both sides, like you would have to do um, with handset type, with uh, quads and spaces. Okay, so let's cast this line and 
Let's see what we got. So the stick goes into the uh, this uh, assembly of the machine. There's a backstop, which which uh, is the the furthest back the stick can go to line it up right to the front of the slug that's going to cast. And this is all kind of there's been like precision uh, adjustments in there to make sure your type is going to cast on the slug straight. Because if you imagine if you're casting on the slug skewed and you're trying to print something straight, then you're just you have a whole lot of problems. So that gets clamped in tight and then when you trigger the machine into motion the pot is going to swing it's going to inject metal into the mold and into the mats um, then the slug is going to be ejected from the machine by knives passing underneath the slug to cut off any of the uh, flashing or spoilage underneath the slug and then it's going to um, deliver it to the galley. Usually after you cast the line, sometimes you just you want to check it for any um, kind of metal burrs or anything sticking out. You clean it off with another slug or scrap piece of brass or whatever you have. So now this this um, line of type, this slug line, as we call it, is ready for printing. It's exactly type high, which is 918.918 uh, of an inch tall. And uh, which is the standard type for, or standard height for all um, letterpress printing, be it type or engravings, um, half tones. Um, 